What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second part of my video of how to do an inlay. So we did the bottom, it looks absolutely amazing. It came out a lot better than I expected. And now we're going to do the deck, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same trick I use for the bottom. So I'm going to run a tape here at the cut lab all around it. And then I'm gonna use the dark blue tape really on the cut line and then i would be able to make a, a very nice patch as you know we're going to do the entire deck with the amazing uh, cloth i have here okay so let's get going as always i would appreciate if you hit the like button uh, and subscribe to the channel to do a video like this takes me a long long time and i would appreciate it very much thank you see you soon Okay, so again, perfect line. This is going to be so nice. This dark blue tape is going to help me once the uh, fabric inlay is gonna be wet. We're going to see exactly where the cut line is. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm sitting exactly on the cut lap, okay? Where the bottom ends. Now, of course, it's not a million percent accurate, the line, it's a little bit twisted, but I don't care because obviously we're going to have a very nice resin pin line over there. 
and it's gonna wrap everything up very very nicely so the next stage is I'm going to take my cloth I'm gonna cut it to size exactly and and then we're, we're gonna be ready to glass it so my fabric is actually pretty wide and now I had to make a decision if I'm going to lay it with uh, with all those boxes straight or like this diagonal I think it looks cooler this way like a little bit to the side so I'm gonna cut it like this and not straight please let me know in the comments uh, what you think about my decision okay so I have my patch ready uh, everything is uh, uh, looks great I have my small uh, pins here to hold it in place and we're going to mix a little bit of resin now and we're going to laminate that once we are done we're going to wait about 45 minutes it's going to be semi-cured then we're going to make this cut lap uh, with our blue tape and then we're going to laminate the clear on the top should be nice let's go So this is done the trick is to make sure that the fabric is absolutely saturated that there is a resin everywhere you don't want to get dry spots and a good clue to that can be that you can see the the blue tape okay so everything is uh, it looks good it looks very good actually we're gonna wait about 45 minutes to one hour it's going to start to cure so I can run my blade here and make a nice clean cut and then we're going to move on to the next step
Okay, uh, the cut went really, really well. You can see how beautiful that looks. And now it's still kind of sticky. It's the perfect time to laminate the top. Usually a board like that, I would glass 6 oz bottom, which I did, and double six on the top. But because of the inlay, which has a lot of weight and also add strength to the board, I'm going to do four and six. So uh, let me prepare the fabric and then we'll get started with the glassing, with the laminating. Uh... lamination is done it went very very smooth I think it was a very smart decision to use 4 OZ and then 6 OZ on the top uh, that looks amazing and what surprises me is how flat the the inlay came out with the rest of the board so it's gonna save me a lot of trouble moving forward with the hot coat and uh, and the gloss coat okay see you in the next video we're going to do some amazing uh, resin pin lines <laughs>